Hey everyone, Michael here bringing you a brand new video. Today we're going to be making burritos and these burritos we're going to be making for meal preps throughout the week. So I'm going to be making two pounds worth of beef just to kind of equate to how many burritos I'll be making. I'll probably be making roughly six to eight um, looking at what we've got here. But let me go over the ingredients real quick so you can get them all ready and then we'll go over how we cook them. So we've got two pounds of ground beef right here. I've got two bell peppers, one green, one an orange, but you can use two of any kind. I got my tortillas, large burrito size, two packets of taco seasoning mix, some cheese that we can shred on top, some rice. Now this rice is a special rice that I've made. It's very similar to the rice that you would find at Chipotle, the restaurant. It's gonna have cilantro in it and then lime juice. I'll be making a video later on how to make this as well, um, but very simple, very easy to do, but you can use any rice. We've got one onion, and then we've got for seasonings, we've got crushed red pepper, cumin, ancho chili powder, and some refried beans. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna cut up our vegetables and we're gonna brown our ground beef. So we'll be doing all that at the same time and then once we get that rolling, I'll show you what the next steps are. All right, so we've got the ground beef starting to brown the pans behind me. I'm just gonna demonstrate how we're going to cut up and use our vegetables today. So for the onion, we're going to cut off the ends. I'm going to push this stuff to the side and then I'm just going to come down the middle like so. Take rid of the, get rid of the little shoots in there. And then we're just going to peel the outside layer. Pull that off. And if there's any remaining dirty spots or rot, you can pull those out. So those are our two pieces of onion there. I'm going to discard of this. And then I'm going to demonstrate how we're going to cut up a bell pepper. Um, for this as well. I like little thin strips on a bell pepper. So the easy way to do that, find the top, which is right here. We're just gonna cut this off. And we'll set that to the side. I can trim that off here in a second. And then what we wanna do is on each one of these little nubs, just fillet the pepper, being careful to not get any of the seeds or the core or that membrane, as that is the bitter. And if any of it comes off on the pepper, we can cut that off. I might have gotten to see a little bit of membrane on there. It can be quite bitter when you cook it, so you want to remove any of that white membrane. And then the bottom here, cut that off. See, pretty much got the entire bell pepper. Very easy cleanup. And then I'm gonna slice each one of these and I'll slice the onions and we'll saute them and we'll um, put them in some olive oil, cook them and then make basically make a caramelized uh, vegetable stir fry that'll go in the burrito. So stay tuned, I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. All right, so we've got the vegetables, the green bell pepper, orange bell pepper, and the onions sauteing in this pan. In this pan, we've ground, browned the ground beef. I've added the water as per the instructions in these spice packets. Follow the instructions on these, they're pretty good. You will definitely wanna add that water so you can get a little more moisture in there. When I cook my ground beef, we buy 80-20, so 80% um, beef, 20% fat. Drain about three quarters of the fat. Don't drain it all, leave a little bit in there. It'll help kind of bind it all together. So I stir all that in. Remember, like I said, the water is already in there. And here's what I do with the other spices. So we've got our ancho chili powder. Just sprinkle enough of each one of these on the top. Okay, there's that. Cumin is already in the spice packet, but it's a great flavor for Mexican meat. So we'll just sprinkle that on top as well. And then depending on your spice tolerance, just a little bit. The crushed red pepper helps bring out true spice. Now see this is coming up to a boil again. We're gonna turn it down. We're gonna want this just to simmer. And you wanna simmer it down until the juice and the water basically becomes part of the meat, so not really liquid. And that's why it doesn't really matter if you add more water or not. Just simmering it longer adds, help, helps congeal the flavors, helps bring it all together. 
Well, we're just gonna let this simmer down. It's on a medium low heat right now. Until that water is basically gone and all we have left is basically a ground beef sauce. All right, so we'll let that go. When the vegetables get wilted, so we don't want to cook them completely. So you can see there's a lot of moisture still in there. We want that to come out and basically they'll become soft to where they are flexible, they're not rigid anymore. They'll be ready. And then once all this is done, we'll assemble the burritos and I'll show you guys how to roll them up and- All right guys, so everything's finished cooking. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our beans first, as these are the hardest ones to spread. So take a good heaping spoonful, about like that much, place it down, push it out into a line. Get kind of front to back coverage of that tortilla, like so, not too much of the beans. Next we'll add the beef. So I've got the pan here, I'm just gonna add enough to cover the tops like so. And then I'm gonna add our vegetables. See how they're kind of wilted? That is perfect. It's kind of like fajita vegetables, which you would get in a restaurant. Same concept. And there's that. And then we're just gonna sprinkle our rice on top. Okay, not too much, just enough. Like so. All right, and then the last step, we'll be to take our cheese. I'm just gonna grate it. The burrito, just enough to add a little bit more flavor from that cheese. It's a smoked Gouda. Use that pretty much for everything in my cooking. All right, so there's the cheese. And then we can add just a little bit of our hot sauce. I really love Valentina. That stuff is good. All right, to roll this, let's see if I can do this. I always try to push it to one side, like so. And then I take it and I pinch the sides in and I roll it over itself like so, and then I use this hand to push all of that underneath. Keep it tight, take each corner and roll it in. And then as I roll it, I just push it. Now that tortilla did break a little bit. It cooled off a little too much. The hotter they are and the more moist they are, the easier they are to roll. But that is a burrito, guys. Very simple, um, very easy to do. It is a great prep item. It's got a good balance of carbs, protein, um, and, and essential nutrients that you need. And you can add, any, add anything you want in there. They're really easy to make. Not too hard at all. So guys, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm gonna be doing a couple more cooking videos, especially around the theme of wraps and bowls. So let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in the next video.